Hi, my name's Alan, and I'm from MeasureSquare. And today, I'll be going over how to use the width margin and length margin settings in MeasureSquare 8. You can see these two fields when viewing the details of a roll good by right-clicking on it, then going to View Modify Details. The width margin refers to the amount to deduct from the width of a roll good. For example, if I have a 6 foot 6 inch sheet vinyl product, as you can see here, and I set my width margin to be 2 inches, then effectively I have a 6 foot 4 inch wide roll. The 2 inches I lose for the margin will be considered waste. Likewise, for the length margin, I can set it to deduct a certain amount from the length of the roll. In this case, a 4 inch length margin will leave me with an effective roll length of 149 feet and 10 inches because I'm starting with a roll length of 150 feet. You can see here in my cut sheet that I have cuts of a width of 6 feet 4 inches wide because of my width margin. If I set the width margin to be 0 inches, then my roll width will change back to its original width of 6 feet 6 inches. I'll go ahead and demonstrate it here by clicking on these estimating setting gear icon at the top. If I change my width margin to be 0 feet for this sheet vinyl, then you can see that the width is changed back to 6 feet 6 inches. Thanks for watching, and please give us a like, comment, or subscribe to our channel if you haven't already.